Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and in this quick tutorial, we're gonna be showing you two different methods to changing solid colors inside of After Effects. So a little while ago, we shared with you how to change solid color layers inside of After Effects, but we also wanted to share with you a method of how to change solid colors when the color isn't one perfect value all the way across. Like in this example where we have a person wearing a solid piece of clothing. You'll notice that if we hover over their article of clothing, even though it's just blue, the specific pixel color for each piece of that blue shirt is slightly different. So even though it's a solid, it's not nearly as solid as an actual solid layer in After Effects, which is literally only one color value. This slight variation makes it a lot more difficult to change. One solution that people try is to add the change to color effect. While there are situations and ways to make this work, we would prefer the following method. For very quick adjustments that don't require a lot of fine tuning, you can use the Lumetri color effect inside of your effects dropdown, and then go to curves. And look for the hue versus hue curve. By clicking on the eyedropper and selecting the color in question, your curve will automatically have three dots appear two range limits, and then the center one which you can move around to change that color. It's as simple as that. And by holding shift, you can move this point here up and down with no horizontal shifting at all. For quick color changes, this is a great solution, but you can see here that using this method on this blue shirt color leaves it with some blue fringing around the edges that's really challenging to get rid of. So if you need high precision, and this method isn't working for you, we'd suggest trying the following method. Start by duplicating your clip by hitting Control or Command D. And to keep things organized, I'm gonna rename the top clip Key Light and the bottom clip Shirt Color. Next up, we're gonna search for the Key Light effect and drag and drop it onto that top clip. Basically what we're gonna be doing is trying to key out the color in question, sort of like making a cutout of just that color and then letting it show through to the bottom image. Then we're gonna change the color of that bottom image. Let's take the eyedropper here and click on a sample of the blue shirt to get our starting point. And we should notice that there's no difference yet until we turn off the bottom layer that's filling in the key. Cool, so you can see the effect starting to take shape already. And actually, if we turn the bottom clip on again and add a hue saturation effect, then rotate the hue around, we can see that we're already getting the effect that we want, but it's pretty messy. There's three glaring problems off the bat. One is the poor quality of the key, leaving some dancing pixels on her shirt. Two is the blue halo or fringing that's surrounding her. And then three is that I'm not getting the right shade of red that I actually want. So let's go through those and clean them up. The first thing I'm actually gonna do is start with the hue saturation effect and set it to colorize instead. You can see that when we solo this layer, what we're actually doing is instead of rotating all of the colors in the image, it establishes a wash of one color over the whole image. Okay, next, using the colorize hue, saturation, and lightness sliders, I'm gonna adjust until I get the tone of red that I want. For me, I need to actually drop the lightness below zero to get the shade of red that I'm actually looking for. So keep in mind that for this parameter, you can actually drop the amount below zero and now I've got a shade of red that I actually want. But you can also see that if we go back to turning the colorize feature on and off, we've also started to take away that blue halo. So we've solved one problem and started to work on another. So let's fix all the remaining issues just by going up to our top clip again with the key light effect, and let's change the view mode to combine matte. Then we can go down to the screen matte options and our goal is to make her shirt and anything vaguely red black. We'll do this by sliding up the clip black option from zero up until we start to get the desired changes. To really see how this effect is changing our image, let's go back to final output for a second. And we can see that raising it up helps to fully let the color show through to what's underneath. But we also need to be careful because as we get to about 75 in our case, it'll start to take out things that are even vaguely blue like parts of the whites of our subject's eyes. We don't want this. But what we do want is a little bit of this because of the reflection of things like the blue on her shirt onto her chin, for example. Having some of these elements seep through, but not others, is one of the keys to a great looking effect. So for our example, 
close to 75 is just about right. And now we can see that all three original problems have now been addressed, and we can see that the blue color has effectively been replaced. If you wanna change up the color to something different, all you have to do now is go back to that bottom layer and adjust the colorize feature to get exactly what you're looking for. And guys, I really hope that you enjoyed that quick tutorial on changing solid colors in After Effects. And if you guys want to introduce more fun and creativity into your After Effects projects, feel free to check out all of our After Effects templates right here at MotionArray.com. Thanks so much for stopping by, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.